The climate crisis is the biggest crisis humanity has ever faced, and yet it has been ignored for decades. Greenland has impacts all around the planet. A billion tons of ice lost here raises sea levels in Australia, in Southeast Asia, in the United States, in Europe, all over the world because we're all connected by the same ocean. new fires are sporadic, they pop up, they destroy vast amounts of land very quickly. There's winds blowing, intense dry heat everywhere. This is the land we flew over for four, but the devastation is more final from the ground. It feels a bit like the end of the world, doesn't it? almost a cemetery because all you can see is dead. It's just terrifying really how absolutely endless the line of fire is. The rainforests in Indonesia are burning. Firefighters have been battling this blaze for weeks. And at its peak this summer, the government says there were thousands of similar fires all across Borneo and Sumatra. The biggest problem now facing the world is climate change. The spring of 2019 will go down as one of the most brutal ever. They had these torrential rains, bomb cyclones. And because this is the kind of event that goes hand in hand with a, a warmer, wetter climate, this is why scientists are predicting that farming is just gonna get harder and harder in coming generations. So this corn is, is almost two feet shorter than it normally is. I'm looking at probably a 20 to 30% drop in yield just from the poor spring we had. In Iowa, we just set a record last year, the last 12 months, start ending this spring of a record amount of rainfall, which creates erosion, it creates water quality issues, it takes fertilizer, our precious topsoil with it, um, things that put nitrates in water, phosphorus in water, The biggest problem now facing the world is climate change. And if we don't figure out how to do something about this and pretty quickly, then we're going to hit a catastrophic tipping point. Hit a catastrophic tipping point. Millions of people here in Europe have been sweltering in this summer's second extreme heat wave. And across the continent, records are being broken. Let's take a closer look now. Germany is at 42.6 degrees. Celsius. The temperatures continuing to rise. The Netherlands 40.4, Belgium 40.6, and if you look at France, they're at 42.6 degrees. Now that represents a shattering of the old record by more than two degrees. Of course it's climate change. There's no doubt about that. It goes without saying. The ice caps are melting. Everybody knows that. Officials say we're seeing some of the hottest temperatures since records began. This is, these are the highest recorded temperatures for Belgium in history since the beginning of the measurement in 1833, yes. As the weather sets new records across Europe, climate scientists say such heat waves are likely to become the new normal in the coming years. Now, now you're linking Europe's two heat waves this summer to climate change. Can you talk a little bit about the data that backs that up? Absolutely. So as you've described, we've seen a lot of um, terrifying heat extremes, heat records broken um, this month. But also last, uh, last month in June, it was the hottest June on record around the world. And in France in particular, many, many heat records were broken. And I think many of our viewers will remember the heat wave last year also in Europe, which um, all of these can be tied to climate change. Scientists can clearly show that climate change is making these worse. So on the one hand, it's making them more frequent, more likely to occur. And on the other hand, it is making them more extreme, more intense. 